Oh, hi there, and welcome back to British Skylines. We're back in the county of Gambrishire, in the town of Great Gamington. And this is episode six. Today, we're working on a UK housing estate. I was a little apprehensive going into this build. I just generally thought that I was going to mess it up, but I just wasn't very confident about it in general. Although, I think it turned out alright, to be honest. And that's just my opinion. Obviously, you tell me what you think once the video is finished, but I, I think it's it turned out a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Like I say, I, I from doing the first few episodes of this series, I, I, I sort of got into it and thought I wasn't really sure what I was doing. I was figuring out the assets, I was figuring out the mods and figuring out what assets I had and downloading all the others. And every episode we do, every step we take, we get a little bit better. Things are coming a bit more naturally. So hopefully that progression progresses through the rest of the series moving forward. Hopefully. That's the plan. So in terms of this build, uh, initially, I thought I was actually going to have to detail all the individual houses, the gardens individually, but these actually, they're, they're pretty good assets actually, they, they come with all the gardens and everything, so it does make things a lot easier, it means I can focus on the actual, the, the surrounding areas instead of the actual housings themselves. And for anyone interested, these houses are all available on the Steam Workshop and they're all created by Mark Welshman. He's got a massive variety of houses, not just these ones, but loads of different ones, and they're absolutely amazing. I'm, I've got downloaded so many of them, I can't wait to use them all. Got to find different ways to put them into the build, but that's the plan. That That's the mission, if I choose to accept it, and yes, I do. So I would say these ones, looking at the style of them, I'd say they were probably styled on mid-70s, maybe 80s housing in the UK very common in certain areas. One thing I wanted to focus on whilst working on this project was making sure there's ample parking for all the residents of the housing estate. Um, it's As you can see, none of these houses have driveways, so we need to find other ways of doing it. So a garage block is, again, it's very common in the UK in, in again, certain areas. Not everywhere, a lot of places have the driveways and, and, and likes attached to the houses. That's, you know, that's fine. But this area in particular, this doesn't, so it needs parking. We've got the, say, the, the garage blocks where we have uh, into most houses have a garage i did count them up i think by the time we finished it was two or four houses that didn't and um yeah that's fine because not every not everywhere will do but most of them do and then as i said there's just random parking on the street just in case for the other bits
I also wanted to ensure there was plenty of pathways for people to, to move around and access different parts of the town. It's In the real world, that's how things are. I mean, obviously people do walk along the side of the roads, but there's, there's cut-throughs at different points from one part of a housing estate to another part of a housing estate, through a field, uh, to different places. So I want to try and do that just to, try, again, make it more British. Adding in this second garage block, I really wanted to utilise the space available. It is quite British in the sense where space is at a premium. Yes, in the countryside there are sprawling fields and meadows and the likes, but where the main bulk of the population actually live, it's um, quite tightly packed because there's not a lot of land. So uh, any little gap where we've got here, just in between the house and the, and the petrol station, it's taken up and um, it's, it's used as, as well as possible. And now we come to my favourite part of any build, it's adding all those little details in, the bushes, the trees, the cracks in the road, all the cars and the little, the tiny little props and assets. That's what I love because it just really brings it to life, it takes it from just a, a, a couple of houses and a road to a living, breathing street. I think it's, I just love it. <laughs> it's the best part of the game, honestly. I love it. Did I say I love it? Do you love it? I love it.
And I did promise you a British Skyline story this video, so here goes. Thank you, Command Freak, for your contribution. Here it is. A small house and the garden behind the house is filled with tents, grills, fishing poles, and all sorts of camping equipment. The owner can't afford, both in time, terms of time and money, to ever go camping, so has decided to permanently camp next to his house. Thank you very much for this once again. I love this. It's it's great, and we're gonna definitely use that today. Uh, the reason I'm using this partly because it works in housing estate and we kind of need something in a housing estate, uh, but also it, it's quite cool. I, I, I like the, the thought process. So if you anyone else wants to get involved and do this, feel free to join the Discord server and start telling me stuff to do. I do have plans for other British Skyline stories moving forward, so in the next couple of episodes hopefully we'll do a few more of those. But we'll see. But unfortunately, at least for now, we are out of time for this video. So if you did enjoy the video, if you're enjoying the series so far, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. Tell me everything you love about it, tell me everything you don't like about it, we'll work on that. But as always, I've been Siki Gamer, you've been awesome, and thanks for watching. Enjoy the cinematics. Goodbye.